Certified most accurate for zone weather with meteorologist Jeanette Kaye. Well, we went from cooler temperatures to wet weather out there. Yes. It's been quite a week. And high humidity. Yeah. It just feels very meh uh, this morning. Is that so, how do you spell that? Is that an M? <laughs> M-E-H. <laughs> there you go. Meh. <laughs> um, here's what to expect. So we are seeing rain this morning along with areas of fog. Oh, there will be a lull, a little break from the precipitation around noontime until the middle of the afternoon. And then late this afternoon, a couple showers, maybe a thunderstorm. We'll have to watch for maybe a strong to potentially severe storm and that will be across the northern part of our viewing area. Beautiful for tomorrow into Saturday. Sunshine both days with high temperatures near 80 degrees. Sunday clouds increase along with the winds and then another storm could bring us more showers and possible thunderstorms by next Monday. Live powered out the radar pretty active out there mainly along and east of I-35. You can see the showers continuing to develop across the south. They're moving off towards the north over the western Hill Country. There's still that band of rain from Kendall County to Bandera County back towards Uvalde County, picking up a couple of showers closer to Bear County. There goes that heavier shower that's getting closer to I-35 on the southwest side of town. That's outside of uh, 410 right along 1604 over towards Elmendorf. Also seeing a bit of rainfall over towards uh, Wilson County around Floresville. Uh, there is a moderate shower, so it's going to be pretty wet this morning. We'll have the drizzle mist uh, spotty showers. That's all thanks to this upper level disturbance that's getting closer to the region. As that gets closer, it's bringing an influx of Pacific moisture aloft, also increasing the moisture at the surface here. Over North Texas, also seeing some rain uh, this morning. Once that moves away, high pressure moves in, and it is going to be drier for your Friday and Saturday. So please give yourself some extra time this morning. Watch for the wet roads, the reduced visibility uh, because of the fog. Perfect example of, of the fog in downtown San Antonio. Thanks to our will be Rodriguez Law weather camera. 60 degrees in town, east northeast wind at five miles an hour. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s, 55 in Bernie. That's the coolest spot. Meanwhile, it's 59 in Uvalde, 62 in Seguin, and 61 in Eagle Pass. Let's track the upper low. It's going to be moving away tonight into the day tomorrow over the weekend, especially late tomorrow into Saturday. That storm will then produce some showers and storms across the deep south. Behind that storm, an upper level ridge develops, and that's what's going Going to bring us the dry weather for your Friday and Saturday. Ahead of another West Coast storm, uh, we'll see the increasing winds and clouds on Sunday. Uh, so late morning, at least through the late morning, we'll still see some showers across the area, primarily in the eastern zone. We'll have to watch the eastern zone for maybe a thunderstorm uh, through the morning. You'll notice we'll see a break around noontime through about 3 p.m. and then more storms will develop, this time coming in from the west, hitting the hill country first, possibly into northern Bear County, then scraping the northern part of the eastern zone. Uh, behind that storm system, clear skies for your Friday and temperatures will be warming up. We are going to see some peaks of sun today and that's going to help to get us into the mid 70s. Here's the severe storm outlook in these areas. We'll have to watch for any thunderstorm activity. It looks like Gonzales County to Lavaca County under a slight risk for storms that could produce some large hail. Uh, it is going to be one of those days where you have to be weather aware, so download our four zone weather app. It's a free download. You'll be able to track the showers and storms. 80 degrees tomorrow, 76 Saturday, Sunday, mostly cloudy and turning windy, a 40% rain chance by Monday. Here's the extended forecast for the other three zones. Tomorrow in the western zone near 90 degrees, hill country, dry tomorrow, but more showers possible on Monday.